What is going on guys, this is iHost here bringing you guys another video of uh, my top 5 iPad 2 Studio Tweaks. Uh, guys, I have, um, <clears throat> starting here at number 5, I have Icon Bounce. Uh, as you guys can see in my dock, Icon Bounce is a Studio Tweak that will basically make only your dock icons <clears throat> move around in some sorts of way. Uh, they do some random type of flipping, uh, they do uh, jumps such as the one right now, and they do just a bunch of more animations as you just see in Cydia. Guys, you guys can get the Cydia Tweak in Cydia for free, I believe it is free, and uh, just go ahead and open up Cydia. <clears throat> And basically just search Icon Bounce once you guys are in Cydia and it is free. And you do not have to add any custom repos because it is cause from the uh, default repo, the Big Boss repo, which is right there. Um, so go ahead and just install Icon Bounce starting there at number 5. Coming in for you guys at number 4, I have a Retina Pad. Uh, Retina Pad, guys, is unfortunately a paid application or tweak in Cydia. You can pick it up for $3, dollars 2 dollars and it is from a default repo, obviously, because it is paid, so there's no custom repoing adding here if you guys would like to purchase it. If you guys would not like to purchase it and rather get it the uh, cracked way, or it's still the same version, but it's, you know, the free version, and you guys can go ahead and look in the description down below, and there will be uh, repos for the free version of Re Retina Pad, and as well as all the other tweaks that will be paid in the video. So guys, you guys can go ahead and purchase this and have it installed. And what Retina Pad will basically do for you, it will be able to take um, iPhone uh, or iPod uh, applications on the iPad, such as uh, Angry Birds version or the uh, you know the clock or a a uh, calculator for the iPad, would be normally in a um, a version of the iPhone. But with Retina Pad installed and enabled in settings, you guys will get. Um, a full working uh, application that will be in HD such as calculator guys you guys can see retina pad uh, is very nice with this you can also put it in the normal mode which would be for the iPhone or iPad or iPod sorry and will um, basically you can do have it in uh, full HD uh, retina this quality here so basically um, that w is retina pad there at number four. coming in at number three for you guys I have uh, spring to mice 2 for iOS 5 guys spring to mice 2 for iOS 5 is a paid um, is a paid app uh, tweak in Cydia and basically you guys can get this uh, <clears throat> in Cydia for I think it is 99 cents or a dollar basically uh, there will be a repost in the description uh, for it for free and what Spring to Mice will do is give you almost full customization of your eye device now this should give you a uh, application right on your springboard as you guys can see after you do a restart of the springboard you guys can see it is Spring to Mice right here and if you just go into your settings and scroll down uh, right down here to where you see Spring to Mice uh, go ahead and open it up and you guys will see um, all these uh, things that you can do such as animations, capabilities, or capabilities, dock, lock screen, icons, folders, app switcher, time machine, status bar, pages, theming, notification center, and the more section. So guys in the more section you just have the basic uh, screen here you guys can go ahead and check that out but I will be showing you guys make sure you have it enabled here and go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and mess with my icons here so go ahead and select the icons and you guys can go ahead and add five rows if you'd like or whatever you want I'm gonna go ahead and resize the icons I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on make sure they're both on and go ahead I'm gonna make my icons big really like you know right up to there and I'm gonna make my dock, dock icons really small so that's that <clears throat> then go ahead and hit the spring to my button that's at the top there and then just click reload and then respring every time you make a change in spring to my you will have to uh, respring your eye device to see the change and basically I made my dock icons extremely small and I made my um, icons on my actual screen pretty big so there you go it's done respringing and I have a season tweak there for you guys I will show you that in later video so guys you guys can see my dock icons are extremely small and my regular icons on my screen are huge so that is basically something that you guys can do with um, spring to mice guys if you guys haven't noticed already you guys will see that I do have five icons in my dock there's not four like normal I'd rather have five I think it's a more it's a better uh, number for the dock and basically that is due to spring to mice 2 and if you guys can see up there in my status bar I do have iPad 2 selected there instead of just the normal iPad which Apple put there so I put iPad 2 instead 
So guys, there you go. There, that's basically something that you guys can do with Springtimize. And if you'd rather change your icon back, because I'd rather do that, you can just reopen up your settings, go back to Springtimize, go back to icons, and basically just either select them back to a regular version or go ahead and put it back to um, I'm at number two the guys, default. I have so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Page 2D is that. a paid Cydia tweak. Again, I think you guys can get Page 2D for two bucks in Cydia. Uh, you guys can go ahead and look it up and just go ahead and buy it. I don't think there is a uh, way around this one, guys. I'm sorry, because you must have a license for it. So go ahead and purchase it for the $2 because it is well worth it, guys. What Page 2D will do for you guys is basically after you do a respring, you will go into your settings, go ahead and open Page 2D, and um, make sure you have the columns sent to what you want. So I have two two columns you guys should be able to go up to 20 columns if you'd like depending on how many applications you have I currently do not have a lot of applications and I like it the way I have it set up now I go I went and had it uh, and set my indicator alignment to middle and my um, indicator auto hide I have that on so basically guys what you guys will see is I have um, if you look on the page dots right down there I have a page under the first one so that will and that is due to um, page 2d I am now able to go ahead and do vol vertical scrolling and horizontal so you guys can see I have a I am able to do this if I wanted to I can go ahead and take the photo booth application move it down left and put it there so that way I have a full square of applications to go in so guys people ask me in my older videos of my iPhone how I did this this is how I did it guys with page 2d some of you guys uh, have already heard of this Cydia tweak and it is very old it did come out last year sometime and but this Cydia tweak is very awesome and is compatible with iOS 5 I definitely recommend you guys go ahead and purchase that tweak it is an awesome Tweak and Apple should let you guys go ahead Coming and do that. And anyway, one guys, I have awesome. unlock uh, FX. So unlock go, FX is another paid city of tweak, but there are ways around this, and you guys can go ahead and add the repos I have in the description for you. Unlock FX you can get for two dollars if you rather purchase it, and it is compatible with the iPad and iPad 2. So guys, go ahead and install this. Do a quick respring and go into your settings and and look for unlock FX. Make sure it is enabled, but it should be already. Go into animations and click on simple, and you guys can see all these animations. Now I'm only going to show you two animations. For in, in this one here guys but you, I have cross black selected so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that and I have uh, the complex I don't have that nothing and the animation duration which is how long it is I have it up to there an image I don't even bother going with so don't even worry about that so go ahead and lock your iPad or whatever device you're on go ahead and do the normal slide to unlock and you guys will see a simple animation uh, that'll go across the screen uh, as you unlock you guys can have that either very slow or very fast I just showed you slow so now I'm gonna go ahead and do it fast you guys seen it is very awesome just to be able to do something such as that so that's just the black cross I'll go ahead and show you one more guys and then you guys can go ahead and have fun with the rest I'll go ahead and do the curl up one basically there's no respring needed for these so you guys can just go ahead and enable them and do them so go ahead and do that so you guys can see that one uh, is the curl up and that is the fast way and here is the slower version of the curl up so guys, you guys can see it will fully unlock your device with a cool animation before it does so. So guys, I definitely think you guys should get these city tweaks. All of them will be listed in the description down below if you haven't, if you missed them. And so with the repos will be down there below as well. If there is, uh, to avoid confusion, you guys will see uh, the page 2D will not work. There's no way around that, so let me get that clear. There's no way around getting page 2D for free that I know of. So guys, don't ask me for that. Um, if you guys found a way, go ahead and uh, post it in the comments and um, we'll see if it works. So that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of my top five Cydia tweaks for the iOS 5. Uh, all of these are should be compatible with every iDevice running iOS 5 and some should work on iOS 4 depending on uh, what tweak it is. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out, guys.